In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the Express framework and how you can use it to make your own web applications using Node.js. So right at the start of the course, we said that we would discuss Express as our web framework option once we've been through our core modules and how to use the NPM repository. So at this point, you should have all of the required Node knowledge to actually get the most out of using Express.js, otherwise commonly known as just Express. So if you're wondering what Express actually is, it's basically just another npm package like we've installed in the past few videos, which pulls together a load of different dependencies and glues them into a useful application. And this is where things get really excited when you start working with Node, as you can use Express to actually make full web applications, which could just be a few web pages pulled together, but it's more common that you'll have things like databases, login, email, and other really cool features as well to make a complete product. So whilst there are other web frameworks available for Node.js, you can see at nearly 10 million downloads a week, Express is a really common option, and so as a junior developer, it's really useful to know about it, even if you end up preferring another package in the end and using that within your projects. So in this tutorial, we'll just take a basic look at Express and get it installed and do a Hello World project, just to get started with using Express. So let's create a new project and save Express as a dependency. So as with other packages that we've used in our projects, we just need to require Express. So even though it's a web framework, it has lots of other dependencies and does lots of different things, it's still at its core just an NPM package. And to start using Express, you actually need to create an instance of it just by calling the imported module. And here I've saved it into a variable called app. And then to start Express listening for connections, we just say app.listen and pass a port number that we want to listen on, let's say 3000 for example. And optionally we can pass a function that is called when Express starts to listen for connections. So if you remember back to our HTTP lesson earlier on in the course, we pretty much did the same thing using Node's core modules, but hopefully you can see already that Express is doing a lot of the hard work for us. And this will become more and more evident as we start to add more features that are built into Express. So for example, if we were to run this program as is at the moment, we wouldn't actually see anything if we tried to browse to our local host. And that's because we actually need to tell Express which routes, in other words, which paths in our URL actually have any content. So here I've just added a path for the root of the local host URL, and we get a request and a result object passed into the function which is provided as a callback, and we can use that to send data back to the browser. So let's give our simple express program a run now and see what happens. And as you can see, it's listening for connections, but let's head over to the browser and see if we can access that path that we've created. So over in the browser, you can see that browsing to just localhost with a port of 3000 gives us the hello world message that we just defined in that initial route. So let's go back to our express application and add a few more of these paths. So here I've just added two more paths, login and register, which will send respective messages when someone tries to access those pages. So let's restart the application and go back to the browser. So browsing to the login path shows us the login page message and the same thing for register as well. So that's just a quick example of how you can set up an express project. But you can imagine keeping all of your URL paths and in future, things like database connections all in one file is going to get really messy. So we could do with organizing these into different files. And whilst you can do that, there is a tool that we'll look at in the next video, which will help us generate a well-formatted project structure for Express, including importing a lot of the other features, which make Express a really simple and powerful framework to use.